Okay, audio testing. Make sure this actually works. This What's up, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and welcome back to another YouTube video tutorial. And this thing, I want to show off the Python module wget, which is a small, simple module, but it acts as like a download utility for any URL or file you find online, and you just want to do a nice little like HTTP GET request, download the file or the the thing, you know. So yeah, <laughs> I've got it open up in Firefox right now, just looking at the wget page in uh, the PyPy Python package index repository, and it looks simple enough. We have a nice little example we can poke at. And let's try and poke at it. I'm going to fire up idle, import wget, and we get an error because it's not installed right now. It's not installed by default. So we can go ahead and install it. We get our terminal open. And since it's part of the Python like repository, all the package index, we can get it with pip, the Python package installer. Um, if for whatever reason you don't already have pip, you can install it with sudo apt install python dash pip. Mine is already installed, so we can just pip install. The syntax is just pip install. The name of the module, wget. It'll run through it, and now, if we fire up idle, we should be able to run import wget, and then it works just fine for us. We don't get an error this time. Cool. So, the demonstration that they give, they do a little URL equals and download with just this string of the URL. They store it in a variable. I guess I don't really have to do that. I can just called download and pass it in. And you'll notice our options here are URL, out equals none, bar equals function bar adaptive. I don't know what that is yet. I mean, I know what that is yet, but I'm just saying that as the, you know, acting. I'm trying to act. Just, all right. Um, it was, we'll pass in the URL. It's the only variable that actually needs to work. And then after a little bit, it downloads this file, and hey, it returns uh, apparently the file name of what it is that we're actually downloading, razorback.mp3. If I hop over to my terminal, ls, I can see that it, it's right there. It did just download it. And, yeah. <laughs> That's really it. It just lets you download stuff. An interesting thing, though, is that if I look over here on this uh, this web page example, they get this cutesy little, uh, they get this little progress bar. I want one of those. So, because I did this in idle, it's not actually going to display that. But if we were to do this in the shell, if I were to just get a Python interpreter, import wget, little wget.download, pass in that URL. Hey, now we get that URL bar. That's kind of cool. A little, uh, little progress bar. And it's, uh, okay, just created a copy of that Razorback download file. We can play that out and just prove the fact that it's a real thing. Yep, it's a song. Cool. <laughs> All right. Notice though, we got that little little progress bar. Looks like when we ran wget.download, it even displayed oh bar. That's a keyword argument. We can probably change that. We can probably actually specify. But it also function bar adaptive at some hex address. If we look at the help here, looks like okay that parameter out. We can specify the output file name directory where we actually want to put the file that it saves to. And uh, bar function can be a function to track its progress, sort of visualize it. So if we actually look at wget, if we hit that control space to look more into what other function it offers us, it looks like bar adaptive, bar thermometer, these are other things that it's actually using as part of the module of the library to display that out for us. We weren't able to see it within idle, but within the shell we were able to. And we can probably turn that off if we pass in like a bar equals none or something to... So we don't have that if we don't want it. What else is there? We get file name from URL. File name fix existing. Looks like detect file name. It looks like if we pass in the URL, it'll just give us the file name that it would have gotten uh, without actually downloading the thing. And it looks like it splits that up by... Let's see. I see a URL parse in here, url.parse, and that's a module. So url.parse looks like it has url parse, url split, etc. So if we give it that URL to work with, it looks like it just actually... Oh, I made a boo-boo. My bad. There we go. It looks like it will split up how it should in some cool way. If for whatever reason you want to dig into this and kind of dissect the module, see how it works. Um, looks like math and OS and shutil and sys. Other Oh, even temp file. We might be able to store this in a temp file. And other ways that it works. Looks like usage is an interesting thing. That's the string that we'd be able to see. How do we ran or how do we invoked wget? 
through a, a through a module. So if we ran Python dash M W get, we'll get this string. And if we give it that URL, it'll download everything in the same way it's done before. Now it's just invoking it as a module, like a command through Python. That's all. Still cool stuff. A little dash dash version. Some of their arguments. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Another interesting thing that I saw was uh, wget dot get console width. That looks like a function in obviously in idle it's going to return zero because there's no there's no console that it's actually working with. But if we were to run this from the shell, it'll it'll like actually seriously figure out our console width, which is actually kind of cool. It saves you from breaking out of the whole like end curses or uh, terminal mode thing. But it looks like it's 71 characters wide. I pr I'm sure it probably needs that for like that progress bar thing that it builds, but if anything, that's a cool function to know you can just quickly whip out and grab the console with. All it takes is this wget module. That's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you. Really cool thing. Simple. Um, really just mocks the wget, or it's supposed to build off the command line wget utility for a regular Linux or the command line, but it's nifty. You can do that in Python real simple, and I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? You think that's a cool module? Are there any other cool modules you know? Is there anything else you'd like to see? Or is there anything you kind of inform me of? Some that I don't know about? But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I, I appreciate you checking this out. And uh, I'll see you in a later video.